Astronomers have documented a rare and significant astronomical event regarding interstellar object 3I Atlas, marking a distinct departure from standard cometary observations. Recent high-contrast imaging has revealed that the object is emitting radiating beams rather than the diffuse tail typically associated with comets entering the inner solar system. These visual structures appear as collimated plasma streams extending outward from the coma, forming fan-like rays or spoke-like geometries that cut sharply into the surrounding space. Experts have confirmed that this phenomenon is not a visual glitch or sensor artifact, but rather a genuine instance of high-energy plasma behavior captured in real time. The structural integrity of these beams is unlike the soft, curved dust tails seen in historic comets like Hale-Bopp or Neowise. Instead of drifting into a wide wake, the material emanating from 3I Atlas forms multiple linear structures with radio geometry. This pattern is considered extremely rare in cometary physics. The beams exhibit a laser-like quality, characterized by their straightness and high contrast against the backdrop of deep space. This specific visual signature suggests that the forces governing the object's outgassing are not merely gravitational or thermal, but electromagnetic in nature. The physics driving this phenomenon is rooted in magnetohydrodynamics, or MHD, the study of the magnetic properties of electrically conducting fluids. The process begins at the nucleus, where the comet releases gas as it interacts with solar heat. Solar ultraviolet radiation instantly strips electrons from this gas, ionizing it and transforming it into plasma. Once in this charged state, the material becomes subject to the solar wind, the stream of charged particles flowing from the sun. However, rather than being blown back chaotically, the plasma is captured by magnetic field lines present in the solar wind. These field lines act as magnetic rails, channeling the charged particles into tight, coherent beams. This mechanism explains why the rays appear so straight and collimated. The material is essentially trapped along invisible magnetic highways. This interaction is highly dynamic. Because solar wind conditions change minute by minute and magnetic reconnection events occur frequently in the comet's vicinity, the beams are observed to ignite, fade, and realign rapidly. This indicates that observers are witnessing dynamic space weather rather than a static tail formation. The reason 3I Atlas exhibits this behavior so clearly, while other comets do not, is attributed to its interstellar origin. Having formed outside our solar system, the object possesses a different ice chemistry and exotic volatile ratios compared to local celestial bodies. It is composed of pristine interstellar material that has been exposed to cosmic radiation for eons, but has never interacted with our sun. Consequently, it has a very low dust content and a highly ionized output. When this alien matter is heated by the sun, it results in violent directional outgassing that produces clean, ion-dominated rays rather than the thick, fuzzy dust tails that usually obscure such plasma structures in normal comets. While the radiating beams are the most recent visual development, they are merely the latest in a series of baffling characteristics that have surrounded this object since its discovery. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb has categorized these peculiarities into a list of 15 distinct anomalies. These anomalies cover orbital mechanics, physical appearance, and chemical composition, creating a cumulative case that distinguishes 3I Atlas from any other known object. The debate among the scientific community centers on whether these traits can be explained by a series of rare natural coincidences or if they suggest a different origin entirely. The first category of anomalies concerns the object's mass and trajectory. 3I Atlas is estimated to be three to five orders of magnitude more massive than Oumuamua, the first detected interstellar visitor, making it a surprisingly significant object to traverse our system. Furthermore, its orbital alignment is statistically improbable. The comet's path lies within five degrees of the ecliptic plane, the flat disk where Earth and the other planets orbit. For a random object entering from interstellar space, the chance of such a precise alignment is approximately 1 in 500. 
Adding to the orbital mystery is the comet's retrograde motion. It travels in the opposite direction to the rotation of the planets in our solar system, a path that indicates it is not bound by the same gravitational history as our local neighbors. During its journey, the object executed strategic flybys, passing surprisingly close to Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. In orbital mechanics, such passes are often used for gravity assists to alter speed or trajectory, though in a natural object, this would be a matter of chance. Despite these close encounters with other planets, the comet exhibited a trajectory that specifically avoided Earth. It maintained distance that prevented close observation from ground-based telescopes while skimming near our planetary neighbors. Perhaps more specific is the observation that the object's trajectory targeted Jupiter's hill radius, the precise gravitational region around the gas giant where satellites can be most efficiently deployed or captured. A final, and perhaps the most culturally intriguing orbital anomaly, is the object's origin point relative to the celestial sphere. Calculations of its incoming trajectory reveal that it aligns within 9 degrees of the direction of the WOW signal, the famous unexplained radio signal detected in 1977. While likely a coincidence, the alignment adds a layer of narrative complexity to the object's profile. The second category of anomalies involves the physical appearance and behavior of the comet, of which the current radiating beams are a part. Prior to the beams, astronomers noted a sunward jet or anti-tail. This is a prominent jet of material pointing directly toward the sun, a phenomenon that defies standard models of radiation pressure, which should push all material away from the star. Further spectral analysis show that the object turned a distinct electric blue color. This blue shift occurred even as the object was moving away from the sun, a phase where cooling would typically result in a reddening of the thermal signature. This suggests high-energy processes occurring on the surface that are not solely dependent on solar proximity. Consistent with the recent beam observations, the comet lacks a traditional dust coma. Most comets are surrounded by a hazy cloud of dust and ice, but 3I Atlas remains sharp and defined, further supporting the theory that it is composed of unique materials. Additionally, observations have shown that the collimated jets maintain a stable orientation. Even as the nucleus rotates, the beams remain fixed in their direction, implying a decoupling of the jets from the spinning surface or a highly specific emission point. The final physical anomaly is the object's light polarization. Observations reveal that 3I Atlas exhibits a remarkably high degree of negative polarization, a property rarely seen in comets. Negative polarization means that the light reflected off the object is twisted or oriented in a direction opposite to what is typically expected. In cometary science, this is highly unusual, as most comets show much weaker polarization patterns, consistent with surfaces made of porous ices, silicates, and dust aggregates. The extreme polarization observed in 3I Atlas hints at a surface structure or composition that is fundamentally different, perhaps unusually smooth, metallic, or coated in a material that interacts with light in a way no natural comet has yet demonstrated. Such a distinctive optical signature immediately sets it apart from the small bodies we are familiar with in the solar system. The third and final category of anomalies lies in the object's chemistry and energetics, revealed through spectroscopic analysis of its coma. Measurements have detected atomic nickel, a finding that in itself might not be extraordinary, but what is startling is the complete absence of iron. In virtually every natural context, nickel and iron appear together. They are closely linked in cosmic abundances, meteorites, and planetary formation processes. Their separation is extraordinarily rare in astrophysics. Yet in human-engineered materials like industrial alloys or specialized metal production, nickel can exist without iron. This nickel without iron signature has become one of the most compelling arguments cited by those who suggest that 3I Atlas could be an artificial or engineered object. Combined with its unusual light polarization characteristics, this chemical anomaly paints a picture of a body that challenges conventional cometary science and raises profound questions about its origin. 
The composition of the gas plume also presents a puzzle regarding water. The plume contains only about 4% water, a drastically lower concentration than solar system comets, which are primarily water ice based. This water scarcity implies the object is made of something else entirely, perhaps nitrogen or carbon monoxide ices, or materials not yet fully identified. Finally, the object has exhibited non-gravitational acceleration. This refers to changes in speed that cannot be accounted for by the gravitational pull of the sun or planets. While outgassing can act as a natural thruster for comets, 3I Atlas showed this acceleration without the massive release of mass or the fragmentation usually required to generate such thrust. The object accelerated, yet remained intact. Whether 3I Atlas is a technological probe or a black swan natural event remains a subject of intense study. The consensus in mainstream space agencies is that the object is a natural, albeit highly unusual, interstellar comet. The radiating beams are viewed as a spectacular confirmation of magnetohydrodynamics in a low-dust environment. However, the aggregation of these 15 anomalies, from the precise orbital alignments to the industrial-style chemistry, ensures that 3I Atlas will remain a focal point of astrobiology and astrophysics for years to come. It serves, at the very least, as a natural probe of galactic chemistry, teaching us how alien matter behaves when it meets our sun.